Hola, so yo Vicky Otravet. It's me Vicky again. And in today's video we're looking we're going to go through uh, in the next few videos that I go through uh, we will be going through the exercises in level five for those of you who thank you very much have bought my level five book um, and if you haven't bought it and you'd like to it's on any Amazon site or you can buy it through me um, just let me know and we'll arrange delivery it's free delivery anyway any Amazon site in any country will deliver it to you also. So, uh, we are... Now, this book is different. For those of you who have my other books, this book it has a different format. So, I've divided it into four sections. So, we have conversations uh, in section one. So, section one is all about translating questions and answering them. Uh, section two, oh, in, in section one, they are, yeah, conversations. In section th uh, two, hang on, I've got three section two. Yes, yeah, sorry. In section two, <laughs> there are translations, and these are translations from English to Spanish, okay? And they all have, they all have a difficulty level rating, so you can decide which difficulty level you want because there's no order to complete this book. That's it's completely different from my other books, which go in a, a progressive order. This book is to practice the Spanish, you know, not really more to learn new Spanish, although there are some things that you will find that are new, but new vocabulary, uh, but really putting into practice the grammar that you've already learned. So section two are translations from English to Spanish. You'll have a translation to do, then questions and answers. Section three are translations from Spanish to English. Uh, so you'll have um, a translation to do just the same, but this time it'll be from Spanish to English and then questions following. And then section four is uh, vocabulary and verb practice so you will find some new vocabulary and maybe some new ways of using verbs in there and then going on to section five this is the fun part these are word searches crosswords games things that you can uh, do to Im help improve your spanish that are a little bit lighter on the old uh, noggin or the old brain um, and yeah so that's basically the format of the book so I'm going to go through the different uh, you know I will gradually do a video for each of the uh, exercises sections in the book um, but you really can pick and choose where you do you know you might decide one day oh, I feel like doing a translation the next day or the next week or whenever you go back to it you might think oh I'll do um, some conversation practice and then maybe one day you'll have a bit of a mammoth session and then you'll think oh I think I'll finish off with a crossword uh, because it would just sort of lighten the load on my brain a little bit it's just up to you there is no uh, organized way that you need to go through this book you can pick and choose which ones you do okay so what we're doing today is on page five uh, sorry page six and this is the first conversation in section one uh, and these these this these questions are all about arguments or discussiones so notice that in spanish we don't have a different word uh, for discuss and argue they're the same word discutir is the verb to argue or discuss and una discusión can be an argument or a discussion so any of you who've had any time lived in Spain or around that you will know that quite often you can't quite work out are they having a discussion or an argument and you're sort of thinking, oh my God, they must be arguing and then suddenly they just start laughing. So, you know, they have a different way of, uh, whereas I think you find in it with English or certainly with English people, with British people in general, if they sound like they're arguing, they normally are arguing. So but anyway, so... We don't have a separate word for arguing in Spanish. Okay, so I'm going to go through the questions. I'm going to tell you how you should say them. I will give my answer, but of course your answer is a free answer. If you want me to check any of your answers, uh, just send them on to me and I'll let you know if they're okay or not. 
Okay, so numero uno, do you feel bad after an argument? So the verb to feel, te sientes mal, or mala, I suppose. Uh, yeah, for a man or a woman, después de una discusión. Te sientes mal, or mala, después de una discusión. Uh, yo diría, I would say, si, sí, normalmente me siento mal después de una, uh, mala después de una discusión. Depende, a veces aclara el aire. You know, sometimes it clears the air and it can be a good thing. Pero creo que en general sí me siento mala. Okay, numero dos. What are the reasons why people argue? ¿Qué son las razones por qué discute la gente? Eh, muchas razones, ¿no? Amor, eh, dinero, trabajo, niños, mascotas. <laughs> I mean, the list is endless, isn't it? People argue over many things. I think money is probably a big thing. Uh, yeah, y, uh, celosidad, jealousy, or muchas razones, ¿no? Okay, numero tres. ¿Por qué discute tu familia? What does your family argue about? Hey, yo, do you know, para mi familia, no discuten mucho, creo. I don't think they uh, argue a lot. No, no discutemos mucho ahora. Probably when I was younger, cuando era más joven, más discusiones, yeah. Muchas cosas, again, you know, you know una cosa en general, pero dinero. Eh, yo pienso que en general las discusiones ocurren cua, sin, cuando hay una falta de comunicación. When there's a lack of communication, you know, uh, I'm a bit of a too direct person. Yo siempre digo que pienso. I always say what I think, but that's not always a good thing, I know. Pero hay otras personas que no dicen que piensan. Y guardan uh, los, uh, you know, sentimientos dentro. You know, a lot of people keep their feelings inside. Y luego exploten, explotan en una discusión. So I think that's probably the reason most people argue is just keeping things inside and not communicating them. Okay, numero cuatro. How do you avoid arguments? ¿Cómo evitas las discusiones? Pues no decir nada. <laughs> Not say anything. Es el meco, la meco forma evitar una discusión, ¿no? Es difícil, pero bueno. Y numero cinco. Do you think that it is best to argue or just walk away? So that sort of follows on from that, doesn't it? ¿Piensas que es mejor discutir o solo irse? Just go away or... or... Uh, yo personalmente pienso que no es bueno irse. Uh, eso normalmente enfada más la otra persona that normally irritates the other person more so no me discutir pero me hablar y número 6 do you like difficult people to gusta la gente difícil yo sí a veces porque la gente difícil Muchas veces es muy interesante. Okay, siete. Are you an argumentative person? Eres una discutador, well, un discutador o una discutadora? Yo ahora no. Hace tiempo, sí, cuando era joven, muy discutadora. Me gustaban discutir, me gustaba discutir pero discutir más 
discuss than argue. Me gusta mucho todavía discutir cosas. I like to debate things. Me gusta oír diferentes puntos de vista. I like to hear different points of view, not just. So, I wouldn't know soy discutadora, pero me gusta hablar sobre cosas. <laughs> what other adjectives do you use to describe an argumentative person? ¿Qué otros adjetivos usas para describir un discutador? ¿Puede o discutir una discutadora? Pues difícil, eh, agresivo o agresiva, arrogante posible. Hay muchas palabras que podemos usar. Uh, in your opinion, numero nueve, in your opinion, is being argumentative positive or negative and why? Pues, difícil. Yo pienso que ser discutador agresivo no es positivo. Pero ser discutador positivo, comunicadora, eh, comunicador o comunicadora, eso sí es positivo. Porque es, this comes down to the fact that in Spanish you haven't got the two, I think, discussions, los discusiones, in the form of discussions rather than arguments, sí son positivos, pero discusiones the, uh, more in the form of arguments like más agresivos, más um, uh, antipáticos, eso no son positivos, no. Positivas. Okay, uh, número 10, do you normally win arguments? Normalmente ganas las discusiones. Pues sí, si tengo razón. Si tengo razón, normalmente gano uh, la discusión. If I'm correct, if I'm right in what I'm saying, normally I would win. Pero claro, a veces me equivo equivoco. Equivo equivoco. A veces me equivoco. Sometimes I'm wrong, y cuando no tengo razón, pierdo la discusión. So, número 11, when was the last time you argued with someone? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez te, que discutiste con alguien? Pues hace tiempo, a estos días que soy más mayor, no dis intento no discutir con personas, pero es difícil a veces. La última vez hace tres meses o algo así. Y número 12. How do you feel when, when someone disagrees with it, everything you say? ¿Cómo te sientes cuando alguien no está de acuerdo con nada que dices? Well, if any of you out there see tenéis adolescentes uh, or niños, if you, any of you out there have got uh, adolescents or young, uh, well, not young, young adult children, let's say, sabes que sí, es muy irritante. <laughs> Así es, you know, you think you're right about everything until you have children and they grow up and then you realise they think you're wrong about everything. But anyway, sí, uh, no es bueno. Si alguien no está de acuerdo con todo que dices, uh, aunque yo me gusta discutir, me gusta hablar, pero si la otra persona siempre está, uh, no está de acuerdo, es un poco irritante, ¿no? Okay, numero 13. Do you avoid sensitive topics or do you like provoking others? So, evitas los temas uh, sensitivos o te gusta uh, confrontar con alguien? Um, otra vez, ahora que soy más mayor, a lo mejor evito temas sensitivos. Pero hace tiempo sí me gustaba mucho eh, 
you know, when I was that person who knew everything. Um, sí, me gustaba mucho uh, confrontar una persona con sus uh, opiniones, etc. Y número 14. But this is fun. This is a funny question for a teacher because this happens all the time. What do you do when someone is not listening to you? Uh, do you raise your voice? Do you get angry? So, ¿qué haces cuando alguien no te escucha? Uh, ¿Subes la voz? ¿Te enfadas? Pues no, porque soy uh, profesora profesional, uh, pero sí, sí, claro, a veces me enfada cuando la gente, mis estudiantes no me escuchan, uh, a veces, pero no digo nada. And did, did you, número 15, el último, did you argue more when you were younger than now? So, uh, discutías imperfect, más cuando eras joven que ahora, y sí, sí, discutía mucho más. Ahora no quiero discutir, no tengo la energía para discutir, prefiero una vida tranquila, ¿no? Ok, vale, so eso es uh, sección 1 en el libro. 1.1 first uh, conversation um, in the section uh, eh, dime como ha ido let me know how it's gone si in if si has gustado el si te has gustado el video y o lo has encontrado útil por favor acuérdate de dos arriba y si no has suscrito todavía, posible puedes considerar suscribir porque es gratis. No hay que pagar nada y me ayuda mucho con YouTube. Ok, vale. So, te veo muy pronto en el próximo video. Y hasta entonces, como siempre, que tu Dios vaya contigo. Adiós.